Hey guys, it's Paul from Ashen Phoenix. I'm doing a review for Capes and Scales because uh, whenever a good X title comes out, they bring me in because they hate X-Men books. No, just me. Well, okay, just Tim. Tim really hates X-Men books. I do. I'm not going to lie about it. So, I picked up Rogue and Gambit issue number one because Tim would really hate this book. Because, yeah. Um, it was decent, though. Uh, it's Obviously, it's Rogue and Gambit. This actually picks up um, after the Astonishing X-Men uh, arc has led together, but you don't need to read that issue to really kind of get this because it's Rogue and Gambit. It's going to be a Rogue and Gambit series. Um, they are going to investigate a uh, island um, that has disappearing mutants in it uh, that is um, masquerading as a couple's retreat. So obviously Kitty sends uh, Rogue and Gambit because if there's anybody on the X team that has uh, relationship problems, it's them. Um, the banter back and forth uh, is really good. It kind of makes me feel like the 90s again um, with their um, their back and forth and their baggage and everything that's kind of gone through. Uh, you, you get that feel towards the 90s, but it's still a fresh story dealing with two very damaged characters that still love each other, but... Um, just aren't there. <laughs> but yeah, um, I would suggest picking this one up. If you're not an X-Men fan, you're probably not going to like it because it's it's an X-heavy story. Um, it's just... <laughs> and that's pretty much it. So uh, give if you're if you're an X Men fan, give Rogue and, and Gambit issue number one a try. Um, if you're not an X fan, if you're like Tim, you're never going to give it a try anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, but thanks, guys. Again, um, don't forget to check us out on our own YouTube channel, YouTube.com/slash Ashen Phoenix, um, or just search for Team Ashen. And uh, we'll see you guys later. Good <laughs> 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 <laughs>